right, guys, we are back at CES 2021, and this one uh, is really cool, and I can't wait to show you guys. So I am here with Jin from Breezum. How are you doing tonight? I'm very good. How are you? Uh, I am doing great. Um, I just wanted to talk so much for being able to kind of talk to us too, because you're actually, we're, we're, we're talking to you. You're from all the way in Korea right now. And, uh, you know, I'm here in Utah, so I'm, 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 I'm happy that we were able to kind of coordinate a time to talk to, um, to, to you about it. And can you explain to everybody at home, uh, what Breezum is and what you guys are showing off at CES? Okay. Uh, Breezum is actually, a, a custom eyewear brand and we are powered by 3d printing, 3d scanning and big data analysis. And we are based in Seoul, South Korea, and it's been about three and a half years since we started this business. And uh, now we are running three uh, offline stores and our consumers, when they visit our stores, they get have their face scanned and we measure their face and we uh, conduct analysis on their face type and we match their face tied with uh, current uh, previous purchase data of our consumers. So it's like a Netflix of eyewear. So we provide recommendation, what kind of style is proper for your face type. So consumers can either uh, try like virtual try on using our iPad in the, in the store, or they can try on the actual samples and then they can make a choice and then we produce our glasses by 3D printing. And within two weeks, our consumers can pick up their uh, customized pair of glasses at our store. So this is the consumer journey we provide in, in Korea now. And one of our plan is developing a uh, iPhone app, <clears throat> smartphone app by the late, uh, late 2021 this year. So that consumers can experience the same uh, scanning, analysis, recommendation process over the phone so that they can make an order, place an order, wherever they are you know, on this planet. So this is pretty much uh, the first like online, offline, connected, custom eyewear uh, manufacturing and shopping experience ever in, in, in on this planet. I, 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 yeah, I, I love this idea because, I mean, I wear glasses and one of the things I hate doing is going and finding frames because I, I have a fairly big head so it's hard to kind of find glasses that fit and then when you're you know in the eyeglass shop i'm just like there's just so many it's like you know how, how you know how do you right, find right. so I, I really like kind of the process with this um and then so like how long does it actually take to kind of scan someone's uh face to for your so for, um, for your machine that you do in your storage right now uh face face scan only takes like Less than a minute, actually. So uh, we use iPhone as a scanner, and we have a we have a robot arm, robot arm, and it turns around your head like this, from over and down. So it takes less than sixty seconds, and then it's over. Scanning process is over. Oh. It's convenient and quick. Yeah, yeah. I, I I really like that too because you know. Um, when, 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 like, I, I know, especially now when everybody's staying at home, um, and you, tr I, I've tried shopping for glasses online, and I'm just like, but how do I know if this is gonna really work for me? You know, you can only do so much with a picture, and that's why I kind of like the the software where it kind of works with this. Um, and then it's it's kind of interesting that you guys decided to go with the 3D printing route. So why why did you kind of decide to go that way in, instead of kind of like having you know, your traditional ways of making glasses. Right. It's uh, actually, this Breezum is my second brand for eyewear business. And uh, I have been in the business for the last 15 years. And the first brand I, I started was named as Allo. It's uh, the first fashion eyewear uh, franchise in Korea. And we focused on young, young folks uh, who are looking for affordable and fashionable glasses. It was uh, the business went pretty well, but uh, I had a big problem with manufacturing. Usually I had to go over to China to place the order of our own products. But conventional eyewear, especially like acetate frames, uh, a lot of the process is covered by manual works. So which means that you cannot really guarantee the same quality among the products. Sometimes we get the different colors or different details. And also the process takes a long time 
So we have to place an order at least six months before uh, before our entrance to the market. Oh, wow. And cool. then, yeah. So like you have to predict the future. Like we don't really know how consumers will react in six months, but we have to wait a long time. Also, there are a lot of like quality issues. And and it was like 10 years ago, all of a sudden, uh, this idea hit my brain that, hey, this is this process is so, so time consuming and it's so, so old. And I kind of thought that, hey, what if we can manufacture uh, glasses by 3D printing, it would be very quick and easy. But at that moment, 3D printing technology was not mature enough to support the, the eyeglasses manufacturing. So that dream didn't come true. But after like seven years, which is about four years before, uh, ago, I happened to meet a guy who is my co-founder who specializes in 3D printing. And then we figured out the way to uh, adopt 3D printing uh, for eyeglasses. So for the last four years, our we have our technology has evolved more and more to fine tune the 3D printing technology to meet the requirement of the eyeglasses. So basically, yeah, that's the story. Yeah, that, that's so cool. So um, kind of in terms of 3D printing too, so I know it's, kinda, you know, it's relatively new technology in the world of manufacturing and stuff. Um, and I, I know people are kind of curious. So, what kind of actual materials are actually are you using to make these glasses too? Because I know durability is always a question when I talk to other people who are looking to buy glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is um what we use as a material is called a polyamide. It's a sort of nylon. So it comes in a powder uh, status. And the three D printing uh, printers we use is called SLS, selective laser sintering. Uh, 3D printing. So basically like a laser shoots over the powder. So it makes uh, the powder into piece by over layer and layer, layer, layer for 12 hours. So basically it's it's pretty similar to uh, injection molded plastic frames you, you see. And it's as light as injection molded plastic and it's as strong as uh, injection molded plastic. So it's quite durable. And it's very light. For example, my pair of glasses that I'm wearing, without lens, it only weighs seven gram, which is about the uh, the weight of one coin, the quarter coin. So, so it has perfect uh, capability to support consumers' like delicate requirement on on eyeglasses, which must be lightweight and durable. And sometimes I sleep over. Uh, on the on my eyeglasses, and next morning I just wear with with no no problem. So that's the best part I like about my glasses. <laughs> uh, I, I I like them, and I was looking at some of your designs too. They look, you know, I, I like them. They they look fairly, you know, pretty stylish and stuff. And they're not because um, I I know some people when they think glasses, they think kind of like those old you know Coke can glasses that you have giant ones. But <laughs> I was, I was looking, I'm like, wow, all of these kind of look really nice. Um, in terms of that. Um, and then do you have any limitations on what kind of lenses that you can put in them? Because, um, you, oh, you know, oh. I know people sometimes need their special kind of coatings and stuff for it too. Right, right. Uh, we have like optician and we have um, eyeglasses special uh, specialty engineers and all of our products can meet any requirement over lens. There is no limitation on lens, whatever lens you can choose. Oh, that's so cool. we design, yeah, to meet any requirement, any optical requirement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's cool. Um, and then in terms of your d designs too, how many, um, uh, how many different styles do you have actually have right now? At this moment, we have forty different designs. And two years ago, we started with two elf, and we are adding up designs uh, pretty much every month. So the virtue of our like designing process is that. Like for conventional eyewear, they are all uh, designed in 2D, not 3D. And once the product is sold out, you cannot. There is no way for you to reorder the products. But all of our products, like all of our uh, designs, are like saved on our uh, database. So we can we can try like our old old styles, even though we don't have the old. Uh, samples of the eyeglasses, you can still try on uh, over the screen with a virtual try on. And then 
you can place an order. So we have every single design saved in our database. So maybe in 10 years, we have like tens of thousands of different styles. And some of the, uh, the styles we cannot really see at, at our offline store, but you can, you can still place an order. So it's pretty much limitless uh, uh, style inventory we can provide consumers. Oh, That's wow. different from the conventional I. Yeah, but that, that's interesting. I I never, yeah, I never, I never knew that because I was I was always like, yeah, every time I go in and buy new frames, I never see my old ones. <laughs> so yeah, I never, <laughs> I never knew like you know they keep rotating them out. They don't keep some of the old styles, which is a bummer sometimes because you you know you find a pair of glasses you like. I'm like, well, I want those again, but they don't make them anymore. Um, right, right, right. So that's always, but yeah, yeah. Um, so how 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 has the feedback been in Korea for your sh shops that you have you've opened? Yeah, we have uh, three shops operating at this moment, and uh, the oldest is two years old, and two others are one year old. And so far, we have served 7,000 consumers with customized eyewear, and uh, their satisfaction level is really high. We have a strong uh, recommendation, and uh, especially like uh, Kevin and me, guys like us with big faces, like. We cannot find any other options at other eyeglasses stores, and we provide the only options available. So guys with big heads or girls with really small heads, also who couldn't find proper size of eyeglasses are very much satisfied. And number two uh, satisfaction group we have is like uh, engineers or programmers, software engineers, who really like the process, our like consumer shopping experience, which is provide with all the data, like a big data and logics, while their conventional eyewear shopping experience was pretty much based on like recommendation of the optician without logic. So consumers really feel comfortable with our uh, big data driven analysis and recommendation so that, yeah, our consumer satisfaction level was really high. I yeah, I, 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 re I really like this too. And yeah, Especially when you said, especially with, um, you know, some people have small heads. I, I know my mom, she has really small heads and she has a hard time finding glasses too. Like I know sometimes she'll get them and then she'll like, you know, try to stuff things on the side of her head so they actually stay on. So right. <laughs> I'm really excited um, kind of about this. And then kind of in terms of cost, like what, what on average is the, the price for a pair of lenses or for a pair of glasses? A pair of glasses. We have like three different uh, types of custom service. Like we provide identical like glasses, but the price uh, is different based on the custom service. So the the lowest start from uh, 130 US dollar, mm -hmm. which means the limited customization service that you can pick a glasses out of five different sizes. Also, you can pick uh, temples uh, out of two different sizes, and also you can pick 15 colors. So you can make a choice at the store, and then you can pick up the proper glasses. This costs you about 130 US dollar. And if you have a uh, if you have a very high high nose, or if you have unbalanced ears, and so if you have some other requirements, you can place uh, place the second order, which which we call major order, and, and it's sold around 210 US dollar. And the highest level of customization, we call it bespoke service, that we, we can meet whatever uh, detail requirement you have in terms of eyeglasses, like size and proportion. It's, uh, bespoke order is about 350 US dollar. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, they're, they're actually pretty good, pri pretty good prices for, for especially what you're getting, because I know regular glasses can be that much or even more than that. Right, right. I understand that yeah, U.S. market eyeglasses are extremely ex expensive, but we can uh, we can provide you with this price because we don't have any inventory. If you visit the eyeglasses store, you see like tens of thousands of eyeglasses as a bad inventory that never gets sold. But we have pretty much no inventory at the offline store, which can uh, cut the cost. And also, we sell directly to our consumers. We then go. We don't go go through the distributors, 
So also we can save a lot of margin by directly going to the consumers and we can provide strong price competitiveness yeah, to our consumers. Yeah, I, I think this is really cool. <laughs> Um, and I, I know I, I know the uh, the app's a little a little ways out right now because you're still working on it. Um, but if people are you know interested in keeping up and making you know staying up up to date with your guys' developments and stuff, do you have a website or somewhere you want people to go and check out? Right, of course. Yeah, uh, our we have a website www.breezem b r e e z m dot com slash c e s 2021. So this is English website we have. And prism.com is only in Korean. So prism.com slash CES2021 is the English website you can uh, you can pay a visit anytime. Uh, so we have a, we have a, like a summary uh, is going on. So we provide Amazon gift coupon. If you provide your opinion about your glasses, especially consumers in the United States, because we are preparing to have a have an offline pop-up store as soon as this COVID-19 issue is gone. <laughs> Actually, we we wanted to conduct a pop-up store to get consumers' feedback as well as to collect facial data in Silicon Valley last year. But because of COVID-19, it has been postponed. So anytime it's available we will move over to the united states and open the pop-up store also by end of this year we will open our app so that you can place an order wherever you are I, I'm, I'm excited that for that and then one question about the app is it going to be uh, ios and android or is it going to be ios only ios only because uh apple is using the true depth camera system for face id so that's how we could conduct our facial scan so easily and so quickly. But Android system doesn't provide that mm -hmm. uh, face ID system. So it's only for iOS. Okay. Uh, that's, I mean, everybody, you know, even if you don't have an iPhone, you probably know somebody around who has an iPhone that you can use. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Over 60% of Americans have iPhones, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm, so, I'm so glad I found you guys. I'm excited. If I was in Korea, I would totally go my because i know i know i'm due for a pair of glasses pretty soon if i was in korea i would totally go to one of your guys's shops for my next pair and then jin i just want to say thank you so much you know for taking time to talk to us especially you know with the time difference and stuff um i appreciate that you, you making this work out and like i said i'm gonna i'm gonna keep an eye out and you know i wish nothing but the best of luck for you thank you so much kevin thank you very much for having me okay <laughs> All right. thank you Okay, guys, so that is, uh, you know, make sure you guys check out Breezum. It's pretty cool. Um, and then this is our CES 2021 coverage.